This tutorial is just going to show you how you install RW Decal and how you configure it when you run it for the first time. So on my desktop here I've just got my MSI that you can download from www.rwdecal.co.uk and just double click it and you just click through the prompt you need to agree to the uh, uh, license agreement there you can choose your installation folder and then we just install it it doesn't take too long to install when it's finished we'll end up with an icon on the desktop and we'll end up with some additional icons on the start menu and we've got the links to documentation and the version history on the start menu the ability to uninstall it and obviously to run it and we can launch uh, the application straight from the installation program, which is what I'm going to do now. So this is the first ever time we've run RWD Cal, so it's going to ask us for several bits of information. For RWD Cal to work, it must know where Railworks is installed. I've got Railworks installed via Steam, so this is the default uh, installation folder for Steam on a 32-bit Windows system. So select the SERS file there and click Open. The next thing it asks for is our developer folder. If you're not sure what the developer folder is, you need to go and look at the uh, Railworks wiki uh, to find out. Uh, it has lots of details on there about uh, developer folders. But to basically, a developer folder it should be a folder usually for uh, for you underneath the source folder within the Railworks installation. So here we've got uh, the Railworks installation, and I'm going to select my folder, which is Nobkins. Then it asks us what the product folder is, and the product folder is normally within your developer. Folder. So the product folder is the item, the product that we're working on at the moment for Railworks. So we'll select that folder as well. I'm working on the Harrogate loop with Scarborough extension. And then it asks us where our copy of RW Ace Tool uh, is located. Um, RW Decal will install a copy for you, or you can select another copy if you like. Once you've done that, it asks you to enter your license details, which, I'm, uh, which you can, it's up to you whether you do that or not if you've got a license. To receive a license, you simply need to make a donation of at least one pound and one UK pound, um, which you can do at www.rwdecal.co.uk. I'm not going to enter my license details now. It then asks me whether I want to take part in the RW Decal Improvement Programme. Um, if at all possible, it would, it's appreciated if you can do this. All we do is we send a little bit of information uh, back about the decals you're creating so that we can improve the program, um, either optimise the processes that take the longest uh, and hopefully get to grips with the differences in how Railworks interprets um, longitude and latitude compared to uh, Google Earth, which is resulting in some decal misalignment. So I'm going to select yes for that. And finally, it says I need to calibrate Google Earth because I've not got Google Earth installed. So to use RW Decal, you must have Google Earth installed, the latest version. So all I do is I click OK, and it opens up Google Earth. And once it's finished initialising, it will uh, zoom in to uh, 25 metres altitude, and then proceed to calibrate uh, Google, um, Google Earth at every single uh, altitude up to uh, 5,000 metres. And this takes uh, less than 60 seconds, and once it's uh, RW Decal has done this, it can give you a reliable predictions of how many tiles it will need to gather and how many decals will be created. So we're at 3,000 metres now, so not more to go. Nearly finished. There we go, so that's to finish the calibration. And we've got our DVD decal all fully configured and up and running for the first time. That's the end of this tutorial.